Okay, hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I'm at the beach courts. It is um, 10.09 in the morning. I meant to come earlier, but turns out it's overcast today, so it is fine, because I'm really not trying to burn to a crisp. I'm gonna like work out, I'm gonna like run some, and just, you know, do what I do. I'm also gonna give y'all a how to jump surf tutorial while I'm here. Um, that has been requested a lot, so I might as well throw that in there. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see me. Looks like someone left their tent here. So I'm like about to use it, absolutely. Thank you to whoever left this here. You're a goat. Okay, let's get some warm up in. Okay, now that we've worn up, warmed up, warmed up, and warmed up our arms, we're gonna start the serving, jump serving tutorials. So, get excited, but I'm about to take a water break under that tent, because I am a little tired. Actually, I'm not tired, but I just need water, I'm like dehydrated. Okay, you guys, so here I am practicing my toss and my approach. So since I'm right-handed, I do left, right, left, and I toss and jump. And then after you jump, you serve. Now here's a close-up of my feet without being weird, and yeah. I'm gonna do this right, feeling nice, what's the price, yeah? Do not live in twice, yeah? My fam on my spine, yeah? Bring me getting slow. Hey guys, it's future Jacoby popping into this video. So um, I just want to give you all some more insight on jump serving because I feel like in my voiceover I couldn't really explain it that well because it was so quick. So okay, so first and foremost, before you even try to start jump serving, you have to have your basic serve down. And that means just like getting your serve overhand, like you have to have your overhand serve solidly before you can even start thinking about jump serving because obviously the serving part is the hugest part of jump serving so you have to have that down so if you're not there yet don't worry you can obviously still um like basically master the overhand standing serve and then you can graduate onto the jump serve so the serve that i was showing you was the jump float now i didn't specify that in the voiceover that's why i am here so um i was doing the jump float serve now there's a jump float there's a to jump top spin serve and there's like a jump like spin serve like there's so many different serves out there but the one that i pr preach practice and teach to my like club kids or whatever is the jump float serve because that is one of the hardest balls to pass as a passer and it's much like there's a lot of guessing that goes into passing that kind of ball because if it's a topspin serve, you can kind of know where it's going and it can just hit your platform and you really don't have to do anything to like direct the ball or move the ball or put power behind it because the topspin serve is just like kind of like a dig so it's easier to pass unless it's a super aggressive serve which is sometimes the case which, which if that's the case then it's just really hard to pass. But um with a float serve the ball actually moves and it's really hard to track as a passer so that's why the jump float is the best and it's just not the easiest but it's just the most effective and efficient as you saw in the um in the clips so i was practicing my toss and my footwork at the same time now you have to put your toss in your footwork all together when you're jump serving and that's why I say you need to master the standing serve because if you don't have a good toss if you don't have good footwork already then your jump serve is not gonna be that good so that's why I'm saying that's why I'm telling you please focus on your standing serve first and then you can try to worry about doing a jump serve because 
you really have to have the basics down. So this is kind of for my, for my advanced girlies out there who want to know how to jump serve better or whatever. So as you saw, I was practicing my toss. When you're tossing, you don't want to toss too low, especially when you're jump serving. Oh my God. Because if, if you toss too low when you're jump serving, that ball will go up and out or just be like a free ball. So you do not want to get under the ball when you're jump serving like at all. Um, you also don't want to toss too high because you don't want to like wait on the ball and then you could potentially miss hit it or it just won't be as like paced because if you toss like right in the sweet spot which is in between like basically in the middle of low and high just right there in the middle that's when you can get really good pace on the ball you can hit the ball right in the middle and make it float now if you hit under it you're gonna get under the ball and that's gonna cause it to kind of roll shot almost and it's gonna be like a free ball it'll take all the pace out of it but if you get too much on top of it then it'll basically be like a top spin float serve which is just kind of like not what we're going for so you want to make sure that you're tossing in the middle and that you want to hit the ball right in the middle of the ball that's where you want to aim is the middle of the ball because that's how you're gonna float the ball and also with your hand contact you have to hit the middle of the ball but then you have to stop your arm um i don't know if i did a good job of showing my arm stopping probably not because i was following through but that's not what you're supposed to do really um you want to stop your arm but not like too like abruptly because that will actually really tear tear your shoulder up and that's not what we want to do so you want to make sure that you're tossing the ball nice in the middle and then once you're contacting you want to aim for the middle of the ball right but then once you contact you want to stop you don't want to follow through or snap down or do any of this stuff. You want to keep it nice in the middle like a high five. And that will make the ball float and move and move. And it will make the ball drop. And it will just make your serve, like, unstoppable. So make sure you're stopping your hands. I think that's all I wanted to say to you. I just did not say in the voiceover. So back to the video. Okay, now I'm going to practice some diving. Just because, why not? Um, so enjoy this. Enjoy these clips. Like a line, I never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running on a steam every day, be the same. I hope you enjoyed that. Now I'm going to just run around the court, get some conditioning in, and then we're gonna go get some food because I'm hungry. <laughs> Need a bit of you every time I drink, like a Okay, so that's over. Um, I'm gonna try to go dust off all the sand with a t-shirt because I don't have a towel. But now I think we're gonna go get a smoothie or something like that because I'm pretty hungry. I forgot to eat breakfast before I came, of course. So we're gonna go get some food and then try not to get sand in my car. <laughs> Okay, you guys, now we're gonna go and, ew, I'm so sweaty. Ugh, it's hot, but it was overcast today, so today went a lot better than last time, but about to go to like tropical smoothie or something, get, um, get like a smoothie. Um, I don't know what time it is. It is 10.40, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll go. I kinda want a chicken wrap, but it might be too early to order that, so. Let's just go to Tropical Smoothie and then we can go home and just shower all this crap off of me. Okay guys, so I'm in my bathroom now. I'm back from the smoothie place. I'm going to show you all what smoothie I got after I shower because I need to get the sand off of me as soon as possible. But I do have a little pro tip for when you want to shower after playing sand. And one of my beach partners actually told me this. Maddie, for watching this, I love you. Okay, so as you can see, I still have my clothes on. Thank God. But... What you wanna do is hop in the shower with your clothes on. Now, the only reason I say that because like the band right here, like there's sand trapped under there or this band, like there's sand trapped under there and I don't wanna get sand all over my bathroom floor. So, we're gonna take the clothes off in the shower and just like try to get as much as the sand in the tub. So that's my long-winded way of it, explaining that. So I'm gonna shower real quick and then meet y'all after. Okay, you guys, I'm out of the shower now, finally. Um, so I got this yummy, yummy smoothie from Planet Smoothie. I got a medium. Um, yeah. I got the Vinny Del Rocco, which is like strawberry, banana, blueberry, or no, raspberry maybe? I don't know. 
orange sherbet, and then I added some plant pea protein just for, you know, gain purposes. So yeah, mm. so good. Overpriced, but good. All right guys, so I'm just gonna chill here until my um, work shift starts. So yeah, that's it for this vlog. I really, <clears throat> I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Close down my spine, wanna give you all my time. Give you all my time. You burn my chest, just like tequila.